Ancient Egypt may be long gone, but even today, archaeologists still keep unearthing artifacts and discovering things that help us get a glimpse of what it was like to live when ancient Egypt was at its prime. Ancient Egypt was once one of the world's greatest civilizations. For more than 30 centuries, they flourished along the winding Nile River in northeast Africa and accumulated wealth through trade and farming. After the fall of ancient Egypt, all that's left are the hidden treasures and discoveries that they left behind. Now, Egyptology helps us to uncover more of ancient Egypt's secrets. From the black sarcophagus to the tomb of the silver pharaoh, what they discovered in Egypt shocked the whole world. Number 15. Black Sarcophagus In 2018, archaeologists uncovered a massive black granite sarcophagus in Alexandria. The ancient artifact has been hidden and untouched for 2,000 years. No one really knew what it was, nor did anyone have any idea what they might find inside. It could have contained treasure, or it could also be the final resting place of Alexander the Great. Just as quickly as the news spread throughout the world, many people theorized that the black sarcophagus may just bring not only a new discovery for Egyptologists to uncover, but also a deadly curse for the whole world. A lot of people were opposed to opening the sarcophagus when it was first discovered, but a few weeks after it had been found, archaeologists uncovered its secrets. Instead of a deadly curse or the remains of a prominent figure, they found three skeletons and murky sewage water that gave off a very unbearable stench. Unlike the other remains found in Egypt, these mummies didn't survive the test of time, and only their bones remain. The archaeologists also addressed the public fear regarding the infamous curse of the pharaoh, claiming that everyone present upon opening the relic is safe and sound. According to them, the sarcophagus may have been the final resting place of a family of three. One was a woman who was between 20 to 25 years old when she died, while the other two are both men who could have been in their 30s or 40s when they perished. One of the men also had a hole in his skull, which suggests that he underwent one of the most ancient surgery procedures called trepanation. They also found drawings and sized on the gold sheets inside the sarcophagus. One of the symbols depicted is a drawing of a snake that doesn't have a hood, which symbolizes rebirth. Truly, instead of a dark curse, the sarcophagus shared a wonderful glimpse of history. Number 14. Curse of the Pharaoh The ancient Egyptians believed in the afterlife. They mummify the deceased with care, and they even place the mummified bodies of kings in extravagant and luxurious tombs, along with countless gold and treasure. Because of this, robbers are often tempted to steal these precious possessions. To counter this, the ancient Egyptians hid the final resting places of their pharaohs and invoked a curse to anyone who dares to disturb their eternal peace. And so, the whole world was terrified when in late 1922, British archaeologist Howard Carter uncovered the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, who died way back in 1323 BC, when he was only about 18 years old. For a long time, King Tut was entirely undisturbed. Upon discovering the location of King Tut's tomb, amateur Egyptologist the 5th Earl of Carnarvon joined Howard Carter and his team in entering the burial chambers. What they found truly was wonderful. They found the young pharaoh's mummified remains, treasure, and other religious objects. Of course, the discovery came with the speculation that a dreadful curse will soon be inflicted to those who dare to disturb the young king. And just as many predicted, Lord Carnarvon died in Cairo at the age of 56. Even the late famous and esteemed writer Arthur Conan Doyle commented that an evil elemental spirit invoked by priests to protect the remains of the pharaoh may have been the one that caused the death of the earl. However, the statistics of the deaths of every Egyptologist involved in opening the tomb don't really justify the existence of a curse. Even still, the archaeologists still respected and didn't undermine the beliefs that an ancient curse truly guards the remains of the once powerful kings of Egypt. Number 13. Tomb of Seti The Tomb of Seti, or Tomb KV-17, is located in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. It's also known as Belzoni's Tomb, or the Tomb of Apis. This site is one of the most wonderful discoveries in Egypt. The cathedral-like tomb is the finest among the Valley of Kings. It offers intricate art that is beautifully preserved. Seti I is the son of Ramses I and the father of Ramses II. He ruled some 70 years after the death of the famous Tutankhamun. Its walls are filled with wonderful texts and images, including the Litany of Ra, the Book of the Dead, Book of Gates, and many more. Number 12. 
Ancient Snacks Egyptians truly made sure that their kings wouldn't need anything more in the afterlife. That's why there were more than 5,000 items discovered in the young Tutankhamun's tomb. They ranged from weapons to treasure to snacks. Yes, you heard that right. Ancient Egyptians packed King Tut with everything he might need. Egyptologists uncovered preserved food, including meat, poultry, and dates in the young pharaoh's tomb. Ancient Egyptians believed that their life on earth was limited, so they wanted to have a better afterlife. The tombs aren't the final resting place, but it's also the last storage of everything they need to prepare for an eternal life after death. Along with the remains of the dead, they also preserved and mummified the food so that they could last for eternity. The Egyptians slowly dried them with salt and bandaged them. They even covered them with resin so that they could withstand the test of time. Number 11. Tombs of Saqqara Saqqara is an Egyptian village in Giza Governorate, and it contains ancient burial grounds of Egyptian royalty. It's the necropolis for the once well-known capital of ancient Egypt, Memphis. It's the home of numerous pyramids, and most of all, the tombs. Saqqara has the oldest complete stone building complex known as the Pyramid of Djoser. They also uncovered a funerary temple and the oldest coffins in Saqqara. They unearthed about 52 burial shafts and more than 50 wooden coffins inside the coffin, the oldest one even dating back 3,000 years ago. The country has unearthed a lot of discoveries in Saqqara in recent years, and even today there's still a lot to discover. You never know, perhaps they'll uncover a relic or an artifact in this place that will change how we see ancient Egypt. Number 10. 3,000-Year-Old Forbidden Cheese Imagine being an archaeologist and uncovering a huge block of… something. And now imagine when upon further inspection, you realize that you just uncovered what might be one of the oldest cheeses discovered. This right here is an ancient cheese found in an ancient Egyptian tomb. The archaeologist first described it as a solidified whitish mass, and at first they had no idea what type of food it was. Later on, they were surprised to discover that it was actually a huge chunk of cheese that's about 3,200 years old. Now why is this discovery so surprising? Well, archaeologists have seen meat, dates, and other poultry in Egypt, but this is the first evidence of cheese production in Egypt. Researchers said that it was mostly made from sheep and goat's milk, but the actual flavor of the cheese is hard to guess. But surely, it would have a really acidy bite. They also found traces of a bacterium that can cause an infectious disease called brucellosis, which comes from consuming unpasteurized dairy products. Symptoms include fever, sweating, and muscle aches. And even today, this disease still exists. They might have found the world's oldest cheese, but no one really is allowed to consume it. Or else, you will suffer dire consequences. Number 9. Meteorite Artifacts One of the things inside King Tutankhamun's tomb that piqued the interest of many is a dagger. It was found in the wrappings on Tut's right thigh. British archaeologist Howard Carter found the iron blade with a decorated gold handle, ending in a round crystal knob. The intricate blade is also encased in an ornate gold sheath decorated in a pattern of feathers, lilies, and the head of a jackal. A second blade was also found near Tut's abdomen, which is made of gold. However, upon further inspection, researchers realized that the dagger may have been made out of a material derived from a meteorite. In King Tutankhamun's era, people called it iron from the sky. And of course, nothing is more appropriate and fitting for the weapon of a king than a meteorite dagger. According to researchers, the dagger's composition is nearly identical to that of a meteor found in the seaport city of Marsa Matra, 150 miles west of Alexandria. Number 8. Dendara Light Bulb In the Hathor Temple lies one depiction of a so-called ancient light bulb called the Dendara Light. It's been a source of controversy ever since its discovery. It's said that this motif is similar to that of an arc lamp or cathode ray tube. Many were convinced that the ancient Egyptians had ancient light bulbs. However, some anthropologists claim that this motif is actually a depiction of the creation myth of Egypt. According to the legend, the light bulb is actually a depiction of a lotus flower where the world blooms from. Meanwhile, the filament at the center is actually a snake which represents the god Atum. Did the ancient Egyptians really have a light bulb-like invention? We'll let you ponder over the theories yourself. Number 7. Mummy Wrapped in an Ancient Text In 1848, a Croatian official decided to travel to Alexandria, Egypt. 
While he was there, he purchased a precious sarcophagus containing a female mummy as a souvenir. When he returned to Vienna, he opened the sarcophagus and decided to unwrap the mummy to display her upright in his sitting room. I know, it's kind of weird to be with a dead person in your workroom, but I guess to each his own. Perhaps the most valuable thing about his purchase, however, is the material used as a bandage for the mummy. When the mummy was donated to the State Institute of Croatia, only then did they discover that the wrappings contained writings that weren't really Egyptian hieroglyphics. Now, the wrapping is called the Linen Book of Zagreb, and it's the longest Etruscan text ever discovered. We don't know much of the language, and there's still much to discover about it. The Etruscans actually had the first great civilization in the Italian peninsula, and they're people who are from Etruria, Italy, west and south of the Apennines, and between the Tiber and Arno. Although little is known about the linen book, researchers were able to translate a few words which suggest that it may have been a calendar, noting about various religious rituals. Number 6. Sekhmet The lion-headed goddess Sekhmet is one of the most prominent gods of ancient Egypt. She's one of the most common statues and depictions in Egypt. And this shows just how important she was. The fierce goddess as the Eye of the Sun. She's also known as the Powerful One and the Royal Daughter of Ra. She also symbolizes life and fertility, which she blesses people with through the Nile River. Hundreds of life-size statues of Sekhmet have been discovered in Egypt, and many Egyptologists theorized that this may have been done to praise and pacify the goddess, and lessen her fiery attributes, and emphasize the life and fertility she gives. Number 5. Secret Chamber in the Great Pyramid The Great Pyramid in Giza is the largest and oldest pyramid, and it's also the one that remains mostly intact. It's believed to have been built around 4,500 years ago. One of its deepest secrets is the chamber that's hidden within. Because of this, a team has developed a robot that has successfully navigated one of the narrow shafts of the Great Pyramid. It took almost five years for the scientists to complete the robot, and it was all worth it. The film taken by the robot revealed colorful markings on the floor of a small hidden chamber. It also found another stone that's blocking a passageway they couldn't pass through. Even today, it still remains a mystery. And now, it's time for today's pick. Take a look at this photo. This certainly isn't a creature from our planet. We probably all heard of the theory that aliens built the pyramids of Egypt. Many argue that there's no way that humans in the ancient times were able to accomplish such a big feat. However, many archaeologists and historians don't really buy this hypothesis or theory. Furthermore, there have been alien-like remains that have been discovered in Egypt. However, even these so-called aliens actually don't have enough basis, and they're found to be untrue. Do you believe that aliens really influenced the ancient Egyptian civilization? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's pick and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Before we go on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. You just leave a like on this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. And that's it. Try it. Number 4. Rosetta Stone The Rosetta Stone is a steel composed of granodiorite, and it's inscribed with three versions of a decree issued in Memphis, Egypt way back in 196 BC. The top and middle text in the stone are inscribed in ancient Egyptian using hieroglyphics and other languages. This irregularly shaped stone of black granite that is 3 feet and 9 inches led to deciphering and understanding the hieroglyphic writing. It really is one of the most notable discoveries in Egypt. The inscriptions entail a royal decree venerating and affirming the legitimacy of the then king Ptolemy V, who assumed the throne at the very young age of 5 after his parents were deliberately killed in a court conspiracy. He was later on officially crowned king at the young age of 12. It was first discovered by a French engineer during the Napoleonic Wars, when the French forces moved into Egypt. Later on, Napoleon managed to obtain the stone, until he was defeated by the British forces at Alexandria in 1801. The stone has been at the London's British Museum ever since 1802. At first, visitors were able to touch the stone, although of course they weren't really encouraged to do so. This will probably horrify most archaeologists and curators, until the museum officials decided to enclose the precious artifact in a glass case to ensure its longevity and preservation. Number 3. Queen Hatshepsut Hatshepsut was the fifth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt. Historically, she's one of the few historically confirmed female pharaohs. She re-established the trade networks in Egypt, 
and contributed in accumulating wealth for the civilization. She was also one of the most prolific builders in ancient Egypt, creating one of the grandest structures in both Upper and Lower Egypt. She died in her 22nd year of reign, and while she is depicted in statues, archaeologists still haven't found her final resting place yet. However, recently, they found the KV-60A mummy, which was thought to be that of Hatshepsut, but even today, they still can't confirm whether the mummy they uncovered really was the once powerful queen. Number 2. Valley of the Golden Mummy The Valley of the Golden Mummies is an enormous burial site located at the Baharia Oasis in the western desert of Egypt. It was discovered by Zahi Hawass back in 1996, and imagine their surprise when they found approximately 250 mummies inside. Most of these are approximately 2,000 years old. This in itself is already incredible, but later upon further excavations, they discovered a total of more than 10,000 mummies inside the burial site. Most of the mummies were still in good condition, and most of them are decorated in different styles, each mummy distinct from each other. There are also thousands of artifacts buried along with them, like jewelry, bracelets, pottery of food trays, wine jars, and Ptolemaic coins. Naturally, you'd think that mummies are terrifying, and they usually are. But for archaeologists, they usually connect to history, gold, and treasure. Number 1. Tomb of the Silver Pharaoh The tomb of Pharaoh Sassens I, ruler of the 21st dynasty, is one of the most notable treasures that archaeologists uncovered in Egypt. We all know that the kings and pharaohs of ancient Egypt were all buried in their tombs along with countless treasure and artifacts. But Sassens I, who was the chief priest of the sun god Amun at Tanis, has one of the most extravagant yet underrated tombs. He has a refined, sophisticated gold death mask, and his sarcophagus was a special and rare one. The royal burial chamber of Sassens I contained a silver sarcophagus, which symbolized the moon back in ancient Egypt. But it was far less common than gold, which was usually used. Pharaoh Sassens I wasn't really that well known in history compared to, of course, none other than King Tutankhamun. He governed Egypt during one of its most difficult periods. During his reign, Egypt was a fractured kingdom divided between the rulers of North and South. No matter how obscure he was, he's now heralded by Egyptologists as one of the major artifacts in ancient Egypt. The discovery of his burial site led to historians and archaeologists knowing more about one of the most unknown eras of ancient Egypt. You could say that the knowledge and evidence that the silver pharaoh left behind was worth more than their weight in gold. What do you think of these discoveries? And do you know of any other discoveries that archaeologists recently discovered in Egypt? Let us know about your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.